And so I must cut this off. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are ripping out some carpet and some laminate. It's gonna be a heavy, busy day. And so I also gotta take these packages over here to the post office. That's very exciting. So we'll do that. And I have to take them because I forgot to schedule it. So this here is actually the reason why the flooring was so messed up. They actually layered all of the padding on top of each other. So like this is this layer on top of this layer. And then it overlaps there. So everywhere it overlaps, it's doubly thick. And in some places it's three pieces thick. And that just means it's trying to make up for it and it, you just feel it. So there's this padding, there's a moisture barrier below it. Actually, it's attached to it. And then there's also still padding on, on the back of these. So it's quite a lot of uh, padding. This is my second cup today. I put in this one, Kawaii Coffee. I'm gonna try to use those up because they're not like really sealed very well. That's just kind of like a filter, so it might lose its its, its excitement over time. It's, it's punch, it's kick. I think after this cup of coffee, I'm gonna just rinse off in the shower, get any like loose dust off of me. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Cause the carpets were like, you know how it is, old carpets from 2005. And then we're gonna go venture out and we'll see what we can do out in the world. Oh, I also wanted to say I did get a new microwave. I ordered it online and it'll arrive in like maybe a week or two. So it's really good. I decided to go with white. And I know that might not be anybody's first choice, but I'm personally tired of stainless steel. And also consider the fact that these are going to be white cabinets and I'd like it just to blend in. I don't want to see a big gray block on the wall. Does that make sense? I also feel that strongly about TVs too. Like for instance, I don't want to see that big square there. Like that looks stupid. So, <laughs> stupid. But no, I, I consider like maybe doing that alcove in like a dark charcoal or a black color so that visually it kind of hides away and then you can put color on the other part of the wall so it sort of overpowers what's going on over there. Like we don't need to see that huge thing. Okay, here we are. Gosh, it's a nice day. I just have to decide if I want Charlie's, Sparrow, Pie Weight Way, or Pokey Express down there. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. I'm thinking about doing this. They have a sesame chicken, honey chicken, Kung Pao. I wonder if they have General So's. Oh, and the Asian noodles too, and the rice. Oh, I like the steam, but those look steamed. That's good. Usually when you go to like a Chinese restaurant, they're like goo. There's like junk all over them. That Those look good, like just steamed. Oh, this is, this is I'm gonna get this. All right, got my little water. All right, thanks. So I got the noodles and then half orange chicken and half uh, I forgot the name. Sesame? Half sesame chicken, too. That's a lot. That's a lot of food. Mini melts. Oh, it's just like the Dippin' Dots. Well, let's see. I want to do one of these. I'm not sure which one I want to do. Rainbow Eyes, Cookie Dough, Cookies and Cream, Chocolate, Banana Split. Maybe Banana Split or Rainbow Eyes. I'm thinking Banana Split. So that's C3. So let's see here. Accepts ones and fives. Oh, that's perfect because it's five dollars. How fitting is that? Let's put this guy in here. Shove him in the hole. Get in the hole. Retrieving product, it says. So it's gonna come out of this little slip. Well, oh, that's a vacuum cleaner in there. They made a mess. They had to clean it up. Mini melts. That's so interesting. It's just like Dippin' Dots. Oh, I think it'll open for me. Are you gonna? Oh, I, I open it. Okay. Cool. It says thank you and goodbye. Well, all right, you're very efficient. Didn't even want to talk to me after that. Thought we would have like a little conversation or something. Ugh, the banana split was such a good idea. I love it. Mini melts. Well, my goodness gracious. It's, I love the feeling of these things in my mouth because it's just like they stick to your tongue and your everything.
All right, let's head into Lowe's. I need to pick up like some screws so I could screw my cabinets together and maybe we'll find something else while, while we're in here. Oh, look at all the plants. Don't they look nice? Yes, oh, I love, those are so nice over there. See them how big they are? Okay, yeah, I just needed some of these screws to screw the cabinets together. These are two and a half inch. And I got, there's eight of them in here. I think I really only need six of them. So that's perfectly enough for putting the cabinets together. Okay, I got a mop, just like a cheapo one, because uh, the concrete's kind of dirty from under the floor where it was removed. So we'll mop the concrete before the floor goes on it so it's completely smooth surface and everything. That's kind of nice, all the little furniture over there. Okay, I guess we'll check out now. I dropped off my packages at this dock, although there's another dock that's like around there that I'm gonna go into the future because this one's mostly for the carriers. But I, luckily I caught him at a great time, he said, because usually it's like really, really busy over here. It's just a lot. Of, I have to remember to do it like the day before and then it's, you gotta set it, I don't know. I like bringing them myself. So I'm happy that there's an option for me because yeah, it's just easier for everybody. I, I, I can get out, do it myself, and then they don't have to do it. The mail carrier doesn't have to do it. Oh, I need to go up front and we'll check the P.O. box now. It's gonna be a huge time saver being able to go in the back because there is a line at this <laughs> USPS like all the time. So, let's see here. Okay, we got a letter and a key. Okay, where's the key gonna take us? Box number, th or locker 36. All right, locker 36. We'll just be right over here. Like, yeah, it's a pretty long line. It goes, it goes all the way down in there. Like, and that's all the time, all the way down. So box number 36 is going to be right here. Okay, and then when you're done, you just leave the key in here. Or, wait, that's <laughs> I was using my key. You just leave the key in here when you're done. Oh boy. There we go. Oh, this is exciting. So we've got, we've got something from Donna Weissner. And this is a Amazon thing. Okay, that's the only two in there, perfect. And then I guess we'll open those up when we get home. Oh, and I have this letter here, this envelope. It's an envelope inside of an envelope. It's the best kind. All right, let's see here. We've got, that looks like Stella kinda, doesn't it? If Stella was a very hairy woman. Stella, are you a, a hairy woman? We've got, oh, a beautiful Visa card. So she got a Visa gift card. That's very nice. A little bit for you both in your new home. Best wishes, Caddy Silk. Fantastic, thanks so much. Oh, now this is interesting. So this was not on my list, but somebody said, you know what? Jeffrey needs a toaster. He needs a toaster. What do we got here? So this is, Jean Metware. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is awesome. It's a retro toaster. Oh, this is really pretty. It's this blue color. Oh, I like that a lot. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? Oh, and the buttons are chrome. That is so pretty. Oh, thanks, Jean Metware. You went outside the box on that one. Satisfying. Oh, now it's stuck to me. We get to do it again. Ah, oh, satisfying. <laughs> All right. Donna Wisner. Let's see what she got. Travel dog water bottle. Oh, that's neat though. Built in silicone leaf bowl. That's intelligent. Oh, look at that. She could drink right out of the out of the thing. Look at them little dogs and that dog and cat. It says just say hello. You're saying more than just hello. 
That's a lot of words. It continues on the back too. Boy, oh boy, that's the most elaborate hello I've ever heard in my life. Anyways, thanks, um, thanks Donna. Wisner, you had to put the phonetic spelling, Wisner. Haven't I always said your name that way? I feel like I have. You know what? I think this is my first evening walk. That's kind of interesting. Look how pretty it looks over there. The sun's going down. Isn't that nice? So, we're just going for a little walk, a little stroll. Yeah, isn't that funny? They, so, for your lawn debris and leaves and stuff, you just put them in a pile right on the side of the road and then they scoop them up with a shovel <laughs> on, on, the, on the certain day that they come pick up the trash. It's kind of interesting. Oh, Stella, don't you just love it so much? It feels so good. It is a really nice temperature right now. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. Everybody has their lights on their houses, like they're a little, I don't even know how to turn mine on. I don't know where the switch is. I like that though. Maybe we need to get landscape lighting, but I don't really see anybody else with it. Like the spotlights that are on your, that are on your house and stuff. Hmm. Uh, okay, so this is interesting. I went to use the screws and I started drilling this through here and the head popped off. The the screw head, it twisted right off. I have, I just, those are some cheap screws. What in the world? Uh, unfortunately, this thing only has like one direction, like one speed. It goes pretty quickly, like, like that's, that's pretty, that's pretty uh, fast. It goes zero to 2,800 a minute. That, that's, that's fast. And so I must cut this off. Oh, I'm cutting into the wood kind of. Look at that. Look at that. It's there we go. <laughs> okay. Well, my, my name is not Bob Vila. I can tell you that. I can assure you that. Uh, I just, I said, okay, well, maybe I need to drill a, a, a drill, put, drill a hole through first so that the screw can go in nice and easy. All right. Well, here we go. So I, I drilled that hole and then it started smoking. And then I looked over here and I said, oh, okay. So maybe it's, it's hitting this plastic thing. There's this like little plastic clip that it's hitting. All right, so then I said, okay, well there's this hole down here that I see. It's, it looks like it's already kind of a hole. So then I matched it up over here and I said, oh, it's this hole right here. Yeah, do you see that what's hanging out? That's the drill bit. I, I think this drill is just too powerful because it snapped the bit. I was going straight in. I, I made sure of it. I was so straight. Look what the drill did. It, it, it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's from the, because I was going like, I was going just right straight like that, and it, oh boy. So, you know, these are getting painted, so what I would do in that case is uh, sand that off and, and fill it if I wanted to and then paint it, but then plus the, you won't see that because there's going to be a drawer there, but oh my gosh. Okay, so at this point... <laughs> At this point, I'm not sure. Obviously, I don't have to attach it up here. I could attach it, um, like open this and attach it anywhere inside of there. I could attach it right here and then at the bottom. So, but I just, that drill, uh, I don't even know. Anyway, so I just sawed it off. So that's now flush with that. I tried to clean that up a little bit you know, with, with some putty and sand it and paint it, it's, it's gone. But yeah, isn't that sad? I just wanted to screw these cabinets together with my fancy screws. But no, I can't. That's not allowed. 
All right, it is the next morning and things are happening around here. And Stella, she just loves it so much. That's an exaggeration. She does not like it at all. She, uh, all the noise, you know how it is. But the baseboards are all kind of in a pile there. Here's another look at this. So the big room, the big hard room is done. All the baseboards are, are removed. The carpet's removed. The shelves are still in here and maybe it's gonna be one of those things where we could just sort of like move them out of the way on the day that they install it rather than try to like put them places. But yeah, all the baseboards are out of the closet here and everything. So speaking of baseboards, I decided that obviously, you know, you could use the same ones, but that's kind of more hassle than it's worth whenever you have to take out the old caulk, sand them, paint them, try to line them back up. And then I don't know, it's just, so I was always planning on getting new ones anyway. So as part of getting new ones, I'd like to get five inch tall. I think they're like five and a quarter or something similar to that. And these are the slightly shorter ones around three and a half inch tall. So the taller baseboards give a more premium look, a little bit nicer. And then I was also thinking I would be cool to put crown molding in. Not now, but when things cool down a little bit, I could make that another project, put crown molding everywhere because they have it out here and it looks nice. So I'd like to do that. These, these ceilings are actually taller out here by maybe a foot, but I do know that crown molding increases the height of your wall. It just makes it look more finished. And talking about molding, I would like to maybe put it around this window too. So I, I mentioned that in the previous, one of the previous vlogs is that I wanna get the, the nice shutter window uh, blinds because these are just mini blinds in here. And so it would be nice to do the more like they're like wide plank kind of style, very coastal looking. So get those for this window and then trim out this window because it's currently not trimmed out. So trim it out, put those things on it and it would just look really, really good. And then the flooring company is gonna be removing all of this tile as I've said before. So this will all be one level. A few people has actually mentioned, why don't I just put the flooring over the tile? And that's because there's a discrepancy here between the concrete and that, two different heights. And while the flooring company said, oh sure, you could just put a transition piece there and do it, it would be, that would bug me. It really would, because it's, you're gonna have a strip defining these two places, not only visually being a strip, but then you're gonna feel it every time you walk up. You'll, you'll notice that there's a height difference. It's just the small things and now's the time to do it. And so I'm gonna do it and it's gonna be good because it's also over in the entryway too. So the entry has the same situation. You'd have to do it that way over here as well. And I, I don't wanna do that. So yep, things are really coming along. The concrete itself is very smooth. It's very good. There are score lines that they did, they're intentional. And as far as I know, they do that in order to facilitate even cracking. So should there be a crack develop in the floor, it would happen on one of these fault lines or score lines so that it would be more controlled. So they've got them sort of intersecting there and then they kind of go off this direction. Very interesting way they did it. As I say that there's a crack that runs that way, but um, these are all superficial cracks anyway that you do see even this little one These are very very common and uh, there's no height difference. So that's good. Yeah out here They have all the flooring and they include with it some self. I did not know this door was open They include with it some of this self leveler stuff so if they need to use it, they will. Otherwise they just take it back with them and then I get a refund for that part of it. But this is all of the flooring here. This is called Honey Butter Ash. It does include a pad and it also, what is this? So this looks like, this looks like tape, seam tape. Okay, cool. So there's some seam tape. Oh, and then there's the underlayment. So this is quite literally just plastic, like plastic sheets. 
the stuff before that we tore out was like a foam pad with a little bit of a plastic sheet in it. So it was definitely way too much padding under the existing floor because this already has padding and so did the other that we took out had already had padding. So that's that's just a moisture barrier. That's all they needed to put on there, but they, they did too much. So, And then here's this transition strips. This is the color. Isn't that beautiful? I love this this color tone. It's natural and modern at the same time. Stella and I are taking a little walk now. It's a really nice day. Oh, so nice. So we are just strolling right along. All right, well, we just got back from the walk and I think it's a great time to end this video. I am exhausted. So mm, I'm not sure what the next video is gonna be quite yet. I don't know if the floor is gonna be in, probably not. They still need to call me and uh, figure out when they're going to install it. So that's like the last big hurrah. Yeah, so I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.